Hello guys and today we will see how the online web store merchants can connect their Magento store with the WooCommerce store. So basically using the integration plugin that's the Magento to WooCommerce connector after the integration has been done the store admin can synchronize the products categories and orders between Magento and the WooCommerce platforms. Here the admin can manage multiple WooCommerce accounts uh, and has the feasibility of managing both the stores simul uh, simultaneously and uh, can you note that this particular integration plugin supports the simple as well as the configurable product types. So uh, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin as an overview in brief and uh, before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So first of all, I'll be showing you how to get the WooCommerce API keys, the consumer key and the consumer secret that needs to be uh, used when we are going to add uh, the what we say as the accounts uh, within the Magento 2 there. So I'll show you how to get the WooCommerce API key credentials and then I'll be taking you through the uh, settings that are uh, to be initially configured within the Magento 2 platform itself and the rest of the flow as well. So let's get ahead and let's see first of all how to get the WooCommerce API credentials. So for that I'll be taking you to the WooCommerce backend uh, store panel for the same. So I've already logged into my backend panel for my WooCommerce uh, platform based web store. Now what you need to do is you need to navigate to WooCommerce and then settings. On the setting page uh, after the emails there's an advanced tab. So right now I have a limited access on this account so that's why it's not visible. So I'll just take you to the user guide and show you how you can get the uh, credentials there. For more details you can check our user guide and the live demo that I've attached uh, within the description of this particular video itself. So here you can see that after the emails we have the advanced tab, tap on the advanced tab and then go to the rest API. Then you have to tap on the add key link that you can see and that brings up this section wherein uh, we'll have to set up the rest API key details. So you ha you'll have to enter your uh, store description, uh, the user and choose the permission then tap on the generate API key and this will basically generate the key with a particular message as you can see here and you'll have the consumer key and the consumer secret now these need to be con uh, used uh, while configuring the WooCommerce account within the Magento 2 uh, platform based web stores backend panel so now let's hop on to the admin backend panel in the Magento 2 platform uh, based web store to check the rest of the settings there itself so here I'm at the backend of the uh, Magento 2 web store so I'll be logging into the backend by entering my username and password and then tapping on the sign in button. So first we'll see the initial configuration settings and then we'll come to adding the WooCommerce accounts here within the Magento 2 store itself. So after we have successfully installed and uh, uh, to configure uh, the particular plugin, uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll navigate to stores, then configuration. On the configuration page on the left hand side under the web pool block, we'll have to navigate to the WooCommerce connector. So I'll just tap on that and that will bring up uh, the general settings for this uh, plugin itself. So here we have the general settings and we have three different settings to configure here. So we'll go through each of them one by one. So the very first option here is a yes or a no for the allow uh, default value. So if this option is set to yes uh, or what you can do is if you uh, for example you have to set yes so as to allow the user the default values for the imported products whose values are imported empty otherwise you can set it as no so as to not allow the use of default values for the imported products whose values are imported empty okay then you have the product delete from catalog so you can set yes to allow the product deletion from the Magento catalog if deleted from the imported product list. Otherwise, if you said no, then uh, what it will do is it won't uh, allow the product deletion from the Magento catalog 
even if it's deleted from the imported product list and uh, then lastly we have the export product on default account so whichever default account you have uh, already chosen the products would be exported uh, on that particular account itself and at the time of order export if the product doesn't map then you'll have to uh, create the product uh, first at that particular account itself and after configuring these three uh, settings here you'll have to tap on the save configuration button now you will also find on the side panel we have the WooCommerce Magento Connect option wherein we'll be able to manage the WooCommerce accounts now let's go ahead and let's see how we can manage the WooCommerce accounts within the Magento 2 platform based web store using this uh, Magento 2 WooCommerce connector so I've tapped on that and that will bring up the complete list of uh, WooCommerce uh, accounts that we have already added. So you can see that I've already added one uh, store name that's the WooCommerce Magento 2. Kindly note that while you're creating or you're adding a new uh, WooCommerce account here, the store name that you uh, enter for the first time will always be the same for the lifetime of that uh, store itself. So kindly mention that uh, very, uh, uh, very carefully. So from the action now drop, drop down, you can delete any of the uh, created uh, WooCommerce accounts. You can edit any of the accounts by tapping on the edit link under the actions column. Apart from that, to add a new uh, WooCommerce account, you can tap here on the add WooCommerce account button. And that would bring up the uh, section wherein we'll be able to set up the uh, WooCommerce account itself. So this is the uh, new WooCommerce account creation page. So right now you can see that we have the WooCommerce account and we have the WooCommerce account information. Now the API key that I showed you initially uh, needs to be entered here under the consumer secret and the consumer uh, one other other consumer secret key. So hey, uh, what you need to do is, for example, for the first time it is only having this one option that's the WooCommerce account information. So you will enter your store name, you will set up your store URL choose the attribute set for the same and the consumer key and the consumer secret here and then uh, you need to tap here on the save and continue edit now after tapping the save and continue edit we'll have uh, a few number of uh, more options here under the WooCommerce account information as you can see so uh, let me uh, show you how uh, those options appear uh, for the one for the account that I've already created so I'll just take you back uh, to that particular uh, listing page where we, we find all of the edit WooCommerce accounts. So I'll be editing this WooCommerce Magento 2 account here. So I'll tap the edit uh, link under the actions column. So here you can see that uh, the store name cannot be changed once we have uh, saved it. Uh, here's the uh, store URL. Here's the attribute set that we have uh, chosen. The consumer secret and the other key. Uh, the key and the consumer secret key has been entered and then after you tap on the save and continue edit these are the options that are the WooCommerce general configuration category mapping import products from WooCommerce import order from WooCommerce and export product to WooCommerce appear uh, as you can see right now now let's uh, check the other options that we have so let's go to the WooCommerce uh, general uh, configuration first and uh, here uh, let's see what different options are, are there so the very first one is the default category so from the drop down you can choose the default category so here you have to select the default category of the Magento 2 store for assigning to the WooCommerce products then we have the store view here you will be uh, choosing the default store view of the Magento 2 for auto synchronization then we have the default website so you'll have to choose the default website uh, where uh, the products would be assigned to then we have a default quantity and uh, whatever you have set here that would be the default quantity that would be assigned to the products when WooCommerce product does not have their own quantity then the default quantity would be applicable to them we have the default weight so here whatever you have set would be the default weight when the uh, when the products are being um, like import and they are not having their own weight then in case in that case the default weight would be assigned uh, to the uh, products there and lastly we have the default order status here you will have to choose the uh, status that would be assigned to the imported orders 
so you can choose that according to your own requirement now after the WooCommerce general configuration we have the category mapping so uh, here the admin will map the magento 2 store categories with the woocommerce store categories by clicking on the map category button as you can see but before that uh, you can see we have already uh, uh, mapped some of the magento categories with the woocommerce categories as you can see so here we have the magento ca uh, category id and the woocommerce category id as well now for example i want to uh, to uh, map the store category men that has tops and has uh, t-shirts with the WooCommerce category so I'll choose men according to that I'll choose clothing then I'll choose tops for them you can choose the uh, attribute ID that you want to apply so after doing these things uh, I'll have to tap here on the map category button and that will map the particular category there you can see the top is uh, being uh, uh, synchronized uh, with the, the top other so that's how you can uh, basically map the categories kindly note that only one category can be mapped at a time and you cannot map the parent categories so you need to select the subcategory for the mapping there so you'll have to keep that uh, particular thing in uh, mind and uh, uh, after you have mapped the categories, you'll also see a success message and then that uh, a mapped category would be visible here under this particular list. And then you can check that up as well as per your requirement there. Now after that we have the import product uh, from WooCommerce. So here you can import the products from WooCommerce into your Magento 2 web store. So I've already uh, imported some of the products there. Now to import the product, what you can do is you'll have to select the product tap on import product and uh, this would uh, create the product in the Magento 2 database but uh, here you can see that the product has been imported in your store from WooCommerce now you need to tap on the create imported products button so after this you'll have to tap here on the create imported product button this will start running the profile as you can see and here you can see that total 61 products are to import two of 61 have been imported already so after importing and then tapping on the create uh, imported products a profiler would run as you can see and it would start creating the products first import product then create imported products and this uh, profiler would appear onto the screen and then you can see that the products are being created so it will take uh, some time there for completion and after the completion you will see a success message as well now after these products have been uh, imported the same would then be visible here under the same list here so I actually uh, uh, forgot to tell you something here you can see that uh, we have skipped the Wu logo uh, product because that already exists that we have already imported now one thing is there that uh, to import the products you can directly tap here on the import products uh, button uh, actually I showed you that we need to check a product no these are the imported products that we have imported from WooCommerce into the Magento 2 store so uh, to import the products you just need to tap here on the import product button a pop of it will, uh, will appear tap ok on that then tap on the created, uh, create imported product button and then the run profile layer will start uh, running up so you can see that uh, around 20 of uh, the products have been uh, imported some of them are being uh, skipped because they have uh, already they are already existing there so that's why they have been uh, skipped so if i go here uh, we can find those products as well so that's how you can import the products from uh, woocommerce into your magento 2 web store so it's still running and it's uh, taking a bit much of time so let me close it down for some time now if i scroll down here you can see that now this list contains more products initially they were not the uh, this much of products uh, when we came into this particular section we had a red uh, shoe at the last but now you can see a new product premium quality woo ninja woo logo is there woo album woo singles and the other products are also there so that's how you can easily import the products from WooCommerce into your Magento 2 web store 
Now comes the other part that's the import orders from WooCommerce. Now the same uh, goes for this as well. We'll have to tap here on the import order button. Here are the ones that we have already imported from the WooCommerce into the Magento 2 store. These are the orders of the uh, WooCommerce. Now this pop-up has appeared, tap OK. Now tap on the create imported orders. Uh, and this will start the profiler and it would start creating the orders in Magento 2, uh, the same orders that have been uh, placed there within the WooCommerce store. So you can see that it has started uh, importing the orders from uh, WooCommerce into your Magento 2 store. Let me minimize that for a moment. And lastly, then we have the export uh, products to WooCommerce. So here what we can do is we can export the products that we have within our store to WooCommerce. So these are the Magento 2 products as you can see. So this uh, plugin supports the simple as well as configurable product. So you can choose any of the products that you want to export into the WooCommerce and then uh, you can export them very easily. Coming back to the import order commerce, let's go to the uh, run profile section. Okay, it's still running. Okay, all right, it's about to complete. It is completed. And here you can see that total 11 orders have been imported uh, from uh, the WooCommerce store into your Magento 2 web store. So let me cancel this out now. Now, lastly, uh, if I come back to the import orders from WooCommerce section, initially we had only three orders, but now you can see that we have uh, imported more than three. A lot of orders have been imported, 11 orders have been imported, and these are visible here as you can see. And lastly, we have the export products to WooCommerce option as I've already told you. Now, uh, let me show you how we can change the assigned category of the imported products from WooCommerce. So I'll go to the import product from WooCommerce. For example, I want to change the category for this one. So from the drop down, I can choose assign to category. I can choose the category from the drop down and then I can tap here on the uh, submit button to change the category. So initially it's in the fitness equipment. I can change it as well. So let's check that out. And now you can see that we have a success message as well as the daily supplement capsules were first uh, under the fitness equipment, but I changed it to jackets. Now let's change it once again. And let me take it to tees. Okay, let's submit it up. And let's uh, see how it changes the uh, category of the selected product. So that's how you can change the uh, category of the imported uh, products uh, or under the import product from WooCommerce itself. So now you can see that the daily supplement capsules are under the uh, T's uh, category. Now one more thing is there, for example, we have uh, imported the orders. Now if I go to the order section in uh, the Magento itself, here we have the order number 55. Now. Uh, it might happen that you have imported the orders, but how come the customer would be created? So uh, it is automatically done by the plugin itself. While we are importing the orders at that very time, if uh, that particular customer is not uh, created in the Magento, the uh, customer gets automatically created within the Magento itself uh, after we have imported the orders from the WooCommerce into the Magento 2 web store there. And you can see the order number 55 from uh, from from WooCommerce into the uh, Magento 2 store. And here we have the account uh, details of the customer. That's the customer name as John Doe. The email is there and the customer group is as well available there. So uh, that's much for the Magento 2 WooCommerce uh, connected and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com. Raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day.